So it looks like we're actually in that room where I had no idea what to do here. That's pretty cool. The bond's impact resulted in the destruction of the Leviathan shield, and the seed is now exposed. Hide there and destroy it. Alright, so now all we have to do is get in our ship and find our way to that Leviathan there. Yep, that one last area of the game. Not the game, the the area, the world. <laughs> Cause yeah, I got to this, uh, I got to this point earlier in Elysium, and I'm like, what is this room used for? And I guess it's used as a, uh, escape pod housing device. And guys, that's another segment that I'd completely forgotten was in this game. Like, I don't remember that at all, so that was, that was really cool. And again, I'm gonna say for the upcoming time, that's not something you would've seen in Prime 1 or Prime 2, it's really not. You know, something that's cinematic and... Uh, I guess, like, life-threatening, kind of? Like, I don't know, that just wasn't in the last games, and I'm really appreciating that... Prime 3 really goes out of its way to be different than other Metroids, but in a more, like, grandiose and epic fashion. They really did break the mold for this one, I think it's fitting. I think it's a nice change of pace, really. I know a lot of Metroid fans, and maybe just the gaming industry in general, seems to be, like, really sensitive to when Metroid so tries something different. You know, even when Prime 1 was a thing, you know, that was milked pretty harshly. And then, you know, we have the whole other end debacle. It's just, you know, when Metroid does different things, it's just kind of... Not really celebrated for it, and I kind of, I kind of like that when it tries to break the mold a bit. I think Prime 3 breaks the mold in a pretty good way. I think even with Prime 3, you know, it's, it's kind of, I'm not gonna say consensus considered to be worse than the first two. I think it's probably consensus, you know, not as good as the first one, because the first one's just so great and I would agree with that, but... I don't know, I think people just tend to hate on Metroid when it's way too different, and... When it deviates from the formula in just very slight ways. Like, I understand the hatred when a Metroid game goes completely off the rails. <laughs> for no reason. Like in Federation Force. When you're not playing as Samus. And all of a sudden this is a multiplayer shooter. Like, those are changes that are just far too drastic from the core experience. For me to really appreciate. And I would be open to those if we had core Metroid games like during the time. But we didn't for Federation Force. It's another reason why I don't like Metroid Prime Pinball and Hunters that much, really. But, you know, I digress. That's something to ramble about. About another day. But for now, it's time to go to the Elysia Seed. And take down the big baddie there. Although I have to wonder what Elysia, what that Phazon Core chose as its guardian here. I mean, you guys can probably put two and two together after all the logbook entries we've read and all the enemies we've come across, but... I don't know, I'll leave it as a surprise if you want to wait a couple more minutes. Because I'm pretty sure these things are structured to where it is not too difficult to get through the Leviathan itself, because of course you have the... Super difficult boss fight at the very end. Alright, so I think this is pretty much the exact same setup as the other Leviathans we saw earlier, so there's really nothing new to scan here. Yep, everything seems to be the way I remember it. All these life forms, then the Phazon pores that are secreting all the Phazon, and all that really <laughs> quote-unquote good stuff. I don't think I ever scanned the door here, I'm not really even worrying about the logbook anymore, but... The door has a low-level energy shield, yeah. Since I screwed the pooch on that one relatively early. So I guess we need the secret missile to get past here, huh? Alright, two, three, four... And then we can just blast you with charge shots. And that should give us tons of missiles to refuel that. There we go. And again, just want to comment on how awesome the Leviathans look. Really love how they look on the inside. All creepy and sci-fi and such. Oh, I have to wonder what the point of this is, like, taking down the eyes and things like that. Is it to just give us, like, energy and missiles? Well, we just got that by using our ship to get here, so... I don't know. Ooh, here we go. I'm not seeing anything in the middle, so maybe there's not a Guardian? Maybe we got a lucky break? Alright, Mechanoid Helios. I don't remember this boss at all. Alright, Helios is using the swarm bots to form a fast-moving ball of energy, avoid contact with the sphere. Alright, let me go ahead and bring up my logbook. Um, why would it let me bring up my logbook? Hold on, is that, is my remote not working? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, Helios. 
Helios' exterior armor is well shielded, but still vulnerable to beam weaponry. Inflicting enough damage will cause him to overheat and expose his Phazon enhanced core. This core can be overloaded with Phazon based energy. Destruction of the core unit should provide fatal, but is difficult to achieve. Target is the prime bots. Uh, the prime bot of a large group of swarm bots, all of which are energized by Phazon. Helios will use the swarm bots for both offensive and defensive measures. Assuming different formations will allow for various forms of attack. Okay. So I guess we just need to destroy all the swarm bots? It said it was still vulnerable to beam weaponry, so... I don't think we're going to be able to do anything when he's in a shield form like that. Let's just try to stay out of his way, I suppose. Alright, so I think we're just going to target it and then... Oh! Then maybe expose the Phazon... Uh, core or whatever, and then go into hyper mode and take it out. Are we doing anything here? Like, I would like to think we're destroying the swarm bots a little bit. Okay, we're, we are causing damage to it, and we can hurt it. But it has all these swarm bots in the way, so... Okay. How's it controlling it? Is it using, like, sound waves or something like that? It looks like it's shooting something at me. Okay, well, let's just try to stay close to it and keep causing damage. Ow! It's bombing at me now. Keep trying to cause damage with our plasma beam. Now, this might take a couple tries again, like, uh, Rundus or, um, what was his name? Maginar. Alright, let's keep trying to take him down. Um, might just be best to go into hyper mode and just try to take down the shield that way. God, what is bombing me? I can't even see it. Well, there's some energy right there. I guess a small consolation prize. Oh god, what is this? What is, what are you doing? Can I target these things in the middle? Maybe I have to use the Seeker Mine. That would make sense. God, that is bizarre. Okay, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to avoid getting hit by that. There we go, yes, yeah, Seeker Mine. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I can just rip into you. Okay, so is that going to expose the Phazon Core? Alright, let's rip into him. Oh god, what did he do? Oh. Alright, don't know if we can really uh, avoid that, but okay, I guess that was our chance to hit him. <laughs> and hit him we did, so... Uh, yeah, we did a fair amount of damage right there, so that's exactly what we're supposed to do. So we just need to keep hammering him in the middle, and uh... Whenever that happens, just get into our hyper mode and take him out. Looks like that did about a third, maybe maybe a bit less than a third. So we should be good. It's not like Moginar where I was like, am I doing the right thing? Please help me. Alright. Pretty sure he's invulnerable in that one, because he's got the big, glowy electric force field. Alright, now we can hurt him some more, and whenever he goes into that formation, we just get our Seeker missiles out, and cause some extreme damage to him that way, it's like. I could go into Hyper Mode to probably expedite this process, but I don't know if he's going to try any trickery, and I do want to save my uh, energy tanks as much as possible. Okay, so the big blue things were the ones that were shooting something at me, so we should take care of them. Alright, got him. Keep firing at the blues. Don't hurt me. Don't tase me, bro. Okay, there we go. Alright, now I think he's going into formation where we can use our seeker missiles again. Yep. Alright, go. Did I get him? Did we get him? Yes, we did. Alright, go down, go down, go down. Go down, go down, go down, please. God, this guy can take some abuse. Yeah, if this just keeps taking this long. I guess I just didn't rep into him as much in this phase right here because I was too busy trying to avoid damage. So we should be really low. We should be getting to the next uh, vulnerable vulnerability phase here, you'd think. Alright. Can I just hit them once and that's it? I don't know if I have to do a charge shot or not. Oh boy, I'm starting to get like meta Ridley syndrome here to where my trigger finger's starting to hurt a little bit. Okay. Alright, can you go down now? There we go. Fantastic. Let's get ready. Let's try to dodge you now. Hopefully I can get more hits in. Dodge you again. Ah, oh, crap. I ran out of phase on. No, 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 no. Is it going to be worth it to go back into hyper mode? I think... Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. He's causing so much damage. Okay. He's just keeping on doing that, so... Oh, yeah, we have to hurt it with Phazon. What am I doing? Alright. Oh, God. I thought I was doing really well in this boss fight, but apparently not. Let's see how, how much I can actually take off of my staying in hyper mode here. 
Okay. Well, we're down half HP after that little incident right there, so... Oh god, he's in like a mech now? Okay, I thought, you know, maybe our secret missiles would do something here, but obviously not. Okay, um... Jeez, what is happening? I'm a bit flustered right now, yet yeah, the secret missiles are not locking on. Maybe we could just keep firing missiles? I, I, I want to get the joints there. Oh yeah, we can lock onto the joints. But it's locking onto the main body, which is kind of annoying. Okay, I think I'm locked onto a joint right there, there we go. Okay, now can I hurt you? Oh, is the core going to be exposed again? Yeah, it is, okay. Let's rip into it. Okay, so the only attack you can do here is when it charges into me, so... As long as we don't get caught by that. That's what was doing all that damage last time. Alright, let's wait for our phase on to recharge here. Okay, jump out of the way, Woo! It's kind of difficult to jump out of the way, that thing, I gotta say. Alright, it's got the shield back up. Don't know how much actual damage we still have to deal to. It. But I'm gonna milk this hyper mode for all it's worth. Oh, that's a new one. What are you doing, Helios? Okay, I can't hurt it in this form. Ugh. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Okay. Uh, is he almost dead? He is almost dead. Or it is almost dead. That's not a heat. Oh! oh yeah, it's like drawing me in. It's like a uh, tsunami. Not a tsunami, like a... God, what, what, like a whirlpool. Yeah, how did I get tsunami and whirlpool mixed up? What am I doing? Okay. Um, are you done yet? Okay, maybe we just... Maybe I should just get into the ball. Get into the morph ball just run away. Yeah, that'll work. That's better. Okay, where are you? Okay, I think we have enough energy now to where I can just hyper mode and be pretty safe. That's another form here. Okay, hyper mode was a bad idea. It's not what I should have done. Okay, we just wasted an energy tank, that's fine. Maybe slow and steady is going to be the way to win this race. God, there's so many of these things to take down now. Jeez. Oh, God, I don't think I could counter them all. And it is thundering and lightning like crazy outside. I'm fully expecting my TV to just die at any moment. <laughs> okay, only two energy tanks left. Gotta be careful. We're not going into hyper mode unless I absolutely need to. Okay, let's just start firing missiles and hope that I hit a target. Come on. Oh, God, there's a like... What is that? What is that? Go away. Go away. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Okay. I'm locked on there. Okay, got one. Don't lock onto the central unit. No, stop. Wish I could change the target. Get that one. Yeah, get that one. Okay. Oh, God, what is that? Okay, stay back. Stay back. Come on. Got it. The manual hitting with the missiles is impossible. You cannot do it. Oh, man. I'm starting to get a little nervous. Okay. Is that something I can reflect back? No, I can't. Oh! Okay, come on. Okay, got you. It's just got the legs left. It's gonna be a close one. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. Just keep firing missiles and hope it locks on. Okay, looks like that phase is over. Okay, I just... Okay, we gotta do this. Die. Please, 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 please. Just go down, go down. Where, where are you? Are we doing the whirlpool again? We are doing the whirlpool again. Uh. Oh, and it's invulnerable in this phase. Jeez. Well, at least I got a ton of energy drops from that, so I'm not feeling as nervous about this anymore. Alright, well, we determined that Morph Bomb was probably the best way to avoid this. Alright, it's gonna come at me again. Good old Boost Ball doing its job here. Like, how much more abuse can that shield take? Whew. Alright. Rip into him a few more times. Please go down. Man, this thing is hardy now. I feel like he was not able to take this much abuse. Is he going back into, like, the leg form he is? Oh. Maybe I need to scan it again. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Helios's bots have assumed a humanoid form, but the arm and leg joints have... Okay, I knew that. Okay, thanks for the obvious. It would, it would not be that difficult to form if I could just focus or target the joints, but I can't do that. It just wants to target the central body, which is invulnerable. 
right, let's just keep trying to lock on and keep, you know, firing the missiles when we can. Is there a way to switch targets? Uh, I've never had this many problems with that before. Maybe you can only hit them when they're glowing like that. That might explain why I'm having such a difficult time. So, like that one. Like, it's glowing because it's about to do an attack, so now we can hit it. There we go. Okay. Please die. I think now it's time. Alright, time to finish this. Go down. Ooh. That was a fight. Alright, and for defeating Helios, we get... Get all those energy drops. We get... Alright, we get the Hyper Missile. Just fire a normal missile while you're in Hyper Mode to do, or to shoot out rather, a Hyper Missile. And so we got these disgusting things to worry about. Let's try firing a Hyper Missile in there. Boom! Yeah, these guys are powerful. I remember that much. Go ahead and take them all out, take them all out. Elysia is now free of further corruption, Samus. Both Leviathans have been removed from Federation space. You have once again performed admirably. However, the threat is not over. We received word from a reconnaissance unit that an emergency GF communication capsule has been found. Analysis has uncovered a message from Gandreda sent while she was searching for the pirate homeworld. This is her last message right before she disappeared. To our surprise, the message indicates that a Leviathan has also impacted the pirate homeworld, which suggests that pirates are now enhancing their military forces with Phazon. Worse, the corruption appears to be spreading very quickly. It's as if the planet itself is transforming into pure Phazon. Left unchecked, this corruption could spread to the entire galaxy. The time to act is now. You must destroy that Leviathan and stop the spread of further corruption. To that end, the Federation is planning a full-scale assault on the pirate homeworld. The attack will commence as soon as our preparations are complete. We have marked the location of the pirate homeworld on your map. And Samus, 
Be on the lookout for Dentria. Hmm. So it looks like our next objective, the pirate home world of all things. Well, that's gonna be a brand new one for Metroid for sure. Oh, and maybe we'll find Gandrena too. I'm not too worried about her, but... Okay, maybe I am a little worried about her. <laughs>